In the previous videos, Phil showed you how to configure your system to pass 4K 120 signals from your PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, or RTX 30 graphic cards through your Denon or Marantz AV receiver to get the best possible gaming experience on your 4K 120 TV set. My name is Robin and in this video I will show you how to increase the number of your 4K 120 and 8K 60 capable HDMI inputs from 1 to 3 in order to connect all of the new devices to your receiver. Denon and Marantz provide the best sound for your home cinema system. With the receiver supporting 4K 120 and 8K 60, your gaming experience will be lifted to the next level. With the optional 3-in-1 out HDMI switches AVS3 from Denon and the VS3003 from Marantz, we want to give the customers a way to expand their number of 40 Gbps inputs now or in the future. This allows you to connect all your new gaming consoles and pass them through the receiver. The compact device comes with three fully 4K 120 and 8K 60 capable inputs and one output supporting signals with up to 40 Gbps bandwidth and all the features of our AV receiver's support. The 3-in-1 out switcher has three LEDs for the inputs on the front, one input switch and two side switches. One is for receiver control and the other for HDMI control. Let's first connect the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X and the PC with Nvidia or AMD graphic cards to these inputs. The output of this device is then connected to the 8K input of the Denon or Marantz receiver. Ensure your receiver is connected with the main output to the input of your TV capable of 4K 120 or 8K 60. Then you can power the Switch and the AV receiver. Don't forget to set the 4K 8K signal format to 8K Enhanced in the menu of the AV receiver to get the full bandwidth for the 8K inputs. There are basically two control options to use the switcher with your receiver. If you just want to let the switcher automatically change the input by CEC command as part of the HDMI control or use the supplied remote, then set the AVR control to off. In this case, you may set the HDMI control side switch to on. In order to get the HDMI control fully working, ensure that in the menu of the AV receiver, HDMI control is also enabled in Video, HDMI Setup, HDMI Control. No further setting in the AV receiver are required to this option and you are good to go. If you want to select the newly added 8K inputs via the IR remote of the receiver instead of the one coming with the switch, set the AVR control to on. Please set the CEC of the switcher and the AV receiver to off. Please ensure that there is nothing plugged into the game or media player input of the receiver. If there is a unit plugged in, we recommend using another input or your receiver for these devices. Then go to Inputs, Input Assign and make sure to select the 8K HDMI input for the three inputs, Game, Media Player and 8K. This is necessary since the Game input will become your HDMI 2 input on the Switch, the Media Player input will become the HDMI 3 input on the Switch and the 8K input will be the HDMI 1 input on the Switch. You may manually rename the input names using the Source Rename functionality. After that, you are done with the receiver settings for this option. If you haven't already configured your gaming device and your television, we recommend to do that now. You may also take a look into the three videos with the links in the description where we describe the settings to be done for the gaming devices and the TV to enjoy high frame rate gaming. Now we are ready to enjoy the gaming experience from all three gaming devices and with option B all switch with the remote of the receiver. Just press 8K on the remote for the PlayStation, game for the Xbox and media player for the PC. Needless to say that you can use VRR and ALLM as well as HDR from supported devices in 10 bits at 120 FPS. You can always check the signal format by pressing twice on the info button of the remote control. That's it! 
Now you can use three different 4K120 or AK60 sources with your Denon AVR. Thanks for watching and happy gaming. Bye.